We have our own neighborhood watch. She is the nosy neighbor. She has to know what everybody is doing. Hi, y'all. It's Neva from Malik Mama Musings. I haven't seen y'all since... Oh, no, I did see you this morning. So, Happy New Year again. Um, I forgot to tell you in my video roundup. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my continued subscribers. Thank you for wanting to be a part of my channel. I feel like it's our channel. If you ever have some suggestions, not negativity, not, but if you have suggestions or ideas that, or something you would like me to add, um, feel free. This video is going to be about my plans for January. I mean, are my plans for 2022 as far as channel and my crafting goals. And I'm going to talk about some other stuff I have. Um, but what's in my cup is peppermint cocoa. Because guess what it's doing? Okay, we have not had even rain in a very long time here. It is snowing on New Year's Day. So maybe that's a good sign that we will get some moisture. But I'm drinking peppermint cocoa. Mm. My hair in my mouth out of my hmm, morning mug I'm gonna continue the vlog I think these vlogs are not gonna be speaking my truth that one has ended from last year this will be finding Neva I told y'all about it like finding Nemo but finding Neva so this is going to be my vlogs will have crochet not always but sometimes I'll talk about what I'm crocheting but it's also gonna have my ancestry DNA thing, um, talking about my family, talking about like stories from my past, you know, my life, that kind of thing. I want to start with a story about how two people got together six years ago. There we go. So I, for quite a long time, have not celebrated New Year's drunk. Well, Okay, no, I did. But anyway, this was a year that I was sober. LJ and I knew each other. We were friends. But when we became friends, he had a girlfriend. Then I had a boyfriend. So we were starting out New Year single, both of us. I had posted on my Facebook that if anyone needed a ride home, because I was spending it with um, this friend of mine, I was like, let us know. We'll come get you and give you a ride home. We were not drinking. And so he was at his brother's because his brother's birthday is... Is it the 31st or the 1st? It's uh, the 1st. The 1st. But they were celebrating at his brother's because his birthday was the 1st. We were, they were all celebrating, the brothers and everybody else. And I get a message from LJ on Facebook that he's been drinking, he's blocked in, could we go give him a ride home? So I went and picked him up, but he didn't want to go home. So he went to Trina's with us, and we have spoken to each other i think or at least messaged messaged each other every day since every single day so that is 6 years of messages and talking to each other and i'm still madly i'm more in love with him than i ever have been so uh -huh. there's a story um for finding neva um so for January 1st, I'm going to go through stuff. This is okay. So for my channel, I've got a long list. I want to be more organized. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Part of that is going to be doing journaling and, and lists and I got to get organized. I want to have more fun on our channel because Halloween, I don't know about y'all, but I had so much fun during Crochetober. I want to do more things like that, but I also just want to be spontaneous. Don't be surprised if I am dressed up like Rudolph one day. I mean, I think we can throw some Rudolph in there in July if we want to, right? So, that. Use notes. Lord knows Neva needs notes. Have monthly themes. So, this month is like new beginnings and all that stuff, but also Betty White. So LJ and I will be watching Betty White movies and shows and maybe something crochet related Betty White. And I'm going to do some quotes from Betty White. So there you go. Um, oh, shoot. I don't know where I put the book. I'll, I'll find it in a minute. Okay. 
Okay, I'm already discombobulated. Look at that. Okay, um, I want to include, continue to include other channels. LJ has a channel, so from now on when he accompanies me, his channel will be linked because, you know, we're partnership. We also do um, podcasts together where we talk about, we review movies and stuff on <clears throat> his channel. So I, it will be linked. Um, I want to edit more, but y'all be patient because we don't have a computer right now. So the little bit of stuff I can do is on my phone. My laptop died, then his um, desktop died, and then now his laptop top is pooping out. So, Okay, I'm going to start with my true crime um, series again, but it's not going to be like just necessarily true crime. It's going to be called Crime and Crazy. And sometimes I'll talk about crimes. And other times I'll talk about like some crazy instance that either happened in my life or happened somewhere that I heard about. So crime and crazy, because, you know, I thought it went good with Manic Mama Musings. Okay, I, I want to still continue Mental Health Mondays. Um, we are going to start the Sparkly New Year 2022. I'm also going to do um, Old Dogs New Tricks. That'll be learning something new. You know, learn something new once I get that down, then go on to the next thing. Um, I also have a Back to the 80s show going on. It's a hashtag that um, we make stuff 80s related. And that started on my anniversary in October and will end on my anniversary this year. So if you would like to join in, you can email me pictures of stuff you've made that are 80s like. And I would love to um, include them and then Next year, on my anniversary, whoever has entered things into the 80s mail will be um, entered into a giveaway, a small giveaway, but a giveaway. Um, so I'm uh, Ashley and I from Stitching It Easy are going to continue the hashtag Manic Stitching Movie Cow um, this year. Um, that's where her husband and her. Um, watch a movie and talk about it, review it, and then same for LJ and I. I am going to make squares. Some squares will be from last year's. I didn't make a lot, but I'm going to make a square for every movie we watch. So, um, you know, like with the applique that's kind of from the movie or whatever. Um, and then like monthly themes, like whether it be like I make something... Um, crochet or uh, I crochet and I'm a or a or like anything that goes with my theme for that month. Betty White, like I said, is the theme. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue back to reading. I have to finish Dracula. Um, then I already said my vlogs, finding Neva vlogs. This will be finding Neva vlog number one. Um, and I'm going to continue, I'm going to continue doing word of the week on Wednesdays and Friday funnies on Fridays, mental health Mondays on Mondays. And then I'm going to have some other days, you know, that I add in different things. Um, my crafting goals. Um, one is to learn new crafts to build a craft show stock. So I am going to start making stuff up like, oh, that looks fun to make, or, oh, I'm going to learn this new technique and it's going to go in a box or a tote. And whether it be for whatever presents itself, a craft show, or if before that a charity presents itself, it'll go to charity and so on and so forth. And I'm just going to put them all in a thing. Okay, focus more on charity. Make gifts ahead. That goes along with the whole craft show. And uh, like I'm just going to start making and making stuff that makes me happy. I'm trying to join in on some cows. Um, learn new techniques. I think that went along with new crafts. Okay. Use a craft journal. This is me, my YouTube journal and a craft journal. Okay. I am going to start making stuff for my future grandbaby because someday I hope I have a grandbaby. Truly, truly, someday I know that it is wanted. Um, so hopefully it will happen and I will have a stash. And if not, I will have lots of baby shower gifts. So. Huh. Look at it both ways. Pause that for a minute, please, babe. Okay, so I have some words for 2022, okay? 
I most people pick one word. I can never. I'm just the kind of person. I can't pick just one word. And these, so these are my three. I picked three words. One is adventure. Okay, let me read. Uh, the noun definition, an unusual and exciting, typically hazardous experience or activity. Verb, engage in hazardous and or, and or ex exciting activity, especially the exploration of unknown territory. So adventure. You know you can make the smallest things into an adventure if you try. Sometimes I walk out on my step and fall. And what an adventure is that? That is hazardous. And exciting not in a good way but um, but yeah you can make the smallest thing and so learning new things and maybe that I'm gonna try to make the smallest things into an adventure even going to the grocery store from now on we'll, we'll have a, a mission that we're going on the next word is new new as in new beginnings new thoughts um, the definition of new is not existing before, made, introduced, or discovered recently or now for the first time. So I'm going to be looking for new and adding new and I, I'll keep LJ around. That won't be new, but just new. I, I don't want to be a new me. Don't get me wrong. I still love my sarcastic self, but I mean in my life, like start trying to learn new things, try new foods, that kind of thing. And the third one is love, because that goes along with charity and all kinds of stuff. And I was going to look up the Bible verses that go with it, but I'm just going to read the definition. Noun, an intense feeling of deep affection. Verb, feel deep affection for. And you can feel affection for other human beings without being in love with them. Okay, and we are supposed to show everyone unconditional love. No matter who they love, no matter what color they are, no matter what religion they are, no matter if they're short, tall, fat, skinny, in between, a Martian, we are supposed to show everyone love. At least that's what my Jesus Christ taught me, y'all. Just saying. So, enough preaching. Um, so there's my words for this Year, this uh, da, 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 year, I did not write my words down last year. I did not write my goals down. So I'm hoping I'm still working on this book, but LJ gave me this book and I'm still hope I'm hoping that if I keep stuff in this book, it'll work. Okay. So in my cup, I have my peppermint cocoa. Um, I've got to look up quotes. Okay. So, um, our movies are going to be Betty White themed. And that will go along with our manic movie stitching cow. So those will go up whenever we watch a movie, get a chance to review it, and I get a chance to make a square. We will upload the video. Okay. So I am continuing Song of the Day. I closed out the playlist from last year and called it Song of the Day 2021. We are starting fresh. Day one, Song of the Day for 2022 is Celebrate Good Times. I don't remember who sings it. Celebrate good times. Come on. Who is that? Well, then, do you know who it is? I don't. Okay, so. I feel like I knew it at one point, but I probably It'll be don't. in the playlist. Okay? That playlist will be linked. And he's looking it up. Um, I will come back and show you what I'm going to start called a Happy Mail Art Journal. Um, and see what your thoughts are. Um. Okay, so I think that's all. I, that part is all I have to talk about. Um, LJ bought this for me last year, and I talked about it, I think, but I never used it. Like, literally never used it. So I'm going to now. It's a women's gratitude journal. 200 writing prompts and inspirational quotes for everyday happiness. Okay, I really need to start journaling my feelings and stuff, I feel like. And so this will be a good one. Okay, so the prompt today... Is miss and and I would love for you to join in. Um, mistake. To, okay, the prompt for today: mistakes can be frustrating, but at the same time teach us valuable lessons about life and especially about ourselves. 
What mistakes have you made that gave you an appreciation for the lessons they taught you? I'm going to have to think hard on that one because I made a lot of mistakes. Had a lot of lessons. Got to tell you, I'm one of them hard-headed children. <clears throat> Still learning. Okay, so that, and then our quote, our, it's a, it, there's a quote, gratitude bestows reverence, allowing us to encounter everyday ep epiphanies. Those transcendent moments of awe that change forever how we experience life and the world. John Milton. And I believe that one goes so much with like new beginnings and stuff. Um, you know, encountering everyday epiphanies. I, I, that's adventures and new. And so that goes perfectly. And I didn't even plan it that way. So it's a beautiful book. I think we got it at Walmart. I don't know if they still have them there, but, um, you might could find it somewhere else. I would love for y'all to join in with me. Um, so there's that. And did you look it up? Yep. You want to guess who it is? Is it Cool in the Gang? Yes. Okay. Wow. That is impressive. Well, I used to be crazy about Cool in the Gang, and it didn't hit me right <laughs> then, but then I just like done even it's Cool in the Gang. So that's was... the song of the day. I will be back with some other stuff like Betty White quotes and whatnot. Um, but, um, Oh, and, and, and I'm also going to, um, yeah, well, I'm going to do, um, uh, today I'm plan on discussing, um, like weird traditions and beliefs about new year and stuff. I'm going to do some research on that, but, um, I'm going to try to read these, um, inspirational messages every day and read you what the, the journal prompt is for each day and um it's two that'll be 200 days worth and then we'll have to find us another journal but that's okay oh i've got something else to show you i gotta find it i got a million things i thought i was organized see it's gonna take a lot for me to be organized so i hope you guys are still okay with my aha moments and when i derail a little bit but anyway so i'll be wrapping it up later on where you lj and i are going to play play we are going to spend some time together we'll play uno and we're going to clean the room and i'm going to drink my hot chocolate and i'm going to i'm not going to go play in the snow it is snowing i'm not going to play in the snow i'm not maybe i will if we get a lot of snow maybe i will i was going to suggest chess but i forgot we have cats <laughs> yeah um, maybe out there later yeah but um yeah so what's the weather like where you're at because it's snowing First moisture we've had in a long time, and yeah, snow. First snow of 2022 on the first day of 2022. What you know about that? Thank you, Betty White. Okay, I love y'all. Okay, another thing that I'm going to do this year, LJ got me this calendar. It's called Brain Food Fun Facts to Snack on All New 2022 Calendar. We got it at Walmart. And it's got a little, I'm going to set it on my desk. It's got the little this thing. But um, the first fact is for, so day one's fun fact, that's what I'll call them, is it rains spiders in Australia. Did you know it rains spiders in Australia? And I know that that creeps most of you out. That is horrifying. I would love to be there. I love spiders. Considering the spiders in Australia, and yeah, I'll pass. Um, I still would love to see it. True. I, I might want to be in a vehicle, but I'd still love to see that. Yeah, it's, it's true. So there's that. Then um, I also told you I was going to... Okay, so I have a Happy Mail art project. And I want you... To, so this is what I started with. Okay, this, this was an envelope from Karen Pruden's card. So I cut her address out and put it right here, okay? And then, like, see, it says airmail. And then it's got the, uh, you know, the whatever. And then this um, sticker was on the back. So I glued that all in there. And I'll probably put some doodles and I'll write out, I'll try to write as pretty as I can because I don't have real pretty handwriting her channel name because she has a channel. I mean, if you don't have a channel, I'll just probably write your name real pretty or something. But here's the deal where I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I had an idea for my Happy Mail cards. 
Not my postcards. They can go in a box. But my Happy Mail cards, I thought about making them all into like a collage type thing. Like, and everybody get, like, the card gets its own space. And I cut out all the little sayings and what was written in it, if it's possible and stuff, and glue it in this book. See, like, Karen started there, and then probably I'll put her card here. And so, um, and, you know, move on. And, um... So what do you think? Would that be like sad because I'm destroying cards? I think it would be a nice way to look back at my happy mail when I'm feeling down or, you know, just the, oh, I remember when so-and-so sent me da-da-da-da, whatever. Um, so let me know what you think about that because I'm going to decorate the, the cover and everything. Um, he was trying to get real crafty this year. So let me know what you think about that. Um, we are going to, I'm going to work on an intro. These videos, I'm going to record, like today's January 1st, okay? So I'm going to record right up till bedtime, like, well, not always, but I'm going to do vlog type videos. I will I will upload at night, so then most people will see them the next morning, which, they'll, so they'll be a day behind, but you'll be, what you know what I mean, you get the idea. So LJ's and I are going to play LJ's. I'm going to play a game of Uno, I think. I'm going to whoop his hiney in some Uno. Um, and, oh, I, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, and I need to look up some other stuff, so, um, I'll be back. See, I'm still, I'm trying to be organized, and I'm still scatterbrained. That's me, though, though. if y'all have not figured that out yet, you're in trouble. Okay, I love y'all. Okay, well, I'm back to wrap up today. We did not clean the room like we are going to. It is 10 flipping degrees out, y'all. It snowed, and now it's real cold. I'm thankful. I don't really like snow, but I'm thankful because we are in a drought, and so I'm happy we have snow. We needed moisture. Snow, okay. I'm okay with cold because, as you know, this summer I had a hard time tolerating heat. But 10 degrees makes my joints ache so bad I can't move. So... Um, I did, I mean, well, we did move some stuff around, so we got a little bit done. Um, you can show them the totes. Let's see. We did get that accomplished. Um, that's my yarn totes. That way it's easier for me to get to, because the garage is cold. And, and just long story. Okay. I've told you all my crafting goals. Now, I want to point out that these, I don't do resolutions. I do have some personal, I want to say, call more, not goals or resolutions, but intentions. That's the intentions for my channel, the intentions for my crafting, <coughs> and I have some personal intentions, and that's just mostly my intention for this year is to be a better version of myself than I was last year. Not like new year, new me, just a better version, like if you understand that at all, like I, even better a-hole sorry but you know I didn't used to know how to be one and I got ran over a lot and so sometimes you kind of have to be one to get away from certain people or to get your your whatever across um the point so, yes that's it okay okay <laughs> so um I told you guys that January oh crap Oh. Well, January is a whole lot of different things. I will talk about that next, like tomorrow, because it's a lot of different months. Some of them are kind of funny, but um, the one I guess I just really want to, um, besides Betty White, rest in peace, um, besides, the, um, besides Betty White, is the January is Women's Cervical Health Awareness Month. Um, I have a confession. I've not gotten a, an exam in a couple years, COVID and all that. So I need to get in there. I have a friend who died from uterine cancer that started out as cervical cancer. I have another friend who went through some really horrible surgeries. And so it is very important. So I'm reminding myself and my beautiful friends, my female friends out there to go get your hoo-hahs checked. Stay healthy. Okay, so um, New Year's traditions. Um, 
and beliefs um, that are kind of unusual. Because I don't know where to, okay. Um, unusual New Year's Eve traditions. One, scarecrow burning in you got you, uh, that's not a you. In Ecuador, I can't read my own writing, y'all. Um, Ecuador, many citizens set fire to scarecrows filled with paper at midnight on New Year's Eve, as well as burning any old photos that represent bad memories. It is thought that it helps to banish, um, banish any ill fortune or bad things that have happened over the last 12 months. I like that idea. I like it better than setting off fireworks because we had fireworks in the front of the house last night and we had gunshots in the back of the house last night. We live in town, y'all. My dogs do not do well with that. And when I was growing up, we never set fireworks off for New Year's. We did for 4th of July. This And, and we've got somebody here in town that's like probably about five... I don't know, they're that way from us somewhere that every like Super Bowl, any holiday, they set fireworks off. And it's very dry here most of the time. That's scary. We don't have lush grass and trees. We have dried up brown stuff. We are a desert. Hmm. So number two, broken plates. New Year's Eve in Denmark, they throw unused plates that have been saved up throughout the year at the front doors of family and friends for good luck. Hmm. That's just a big old mess. I don't. Any of my friends watching this, don't do that. Ever do that to me on New Year's Eve. Oh, it's bad enough that my daughter takes my, my chickens, my, my yard decoration chickens, when she leaves a lot of time and like lines them up outside the door. So you got to struggle to get out the front door. I mean, you can. It's not a fire hazard. It just, what's well, a little dangerous for clumsy people. Okay, number three. 108 rings. In Japan, on New Year's Eve, you'll hear the sound of 108 bells echoing through the streets. This Buddhist tradition is believed to banish human sins, bringing good luck to all. I thought it said banish humans. Well, we probably should, but uh -huh. no, human sins. I guess animal, like dog sins are okay, but human sins, gotta get rid of those. Number four, Wearing colored underwear in South America, there's a superstition that the color of your underwear can determine what the new year will bring. What if you go commando? You're falling asleep. Wake up. Okay. Perk up a little. Anyway, what if you're going commando? That's what I want to know. But like red oh. is for love, uh, yellow is for wealth, white is for peace. It didn't give any other examples, but I'm sure there's other colors. Interesting. That Number interesting. five round things filipinos hope to bring prosperity and wealth to the coming year by surrounding themselves with round things on new year's eve coins grapes marbles okay round things i'm round kind of more lumpy i'm not completely round never mind i'm surrounded by roundness does that oh, i must be a lucky hoe um number six Throwing furniture out the window in Italy, they throw old furniture, soft furniture, by the way, out the window to symbolize a fresh start for upcoming the upcoming year. That's just, that's, that's waste. That's what that is. Mamma mia. Number seven, in Romania, farmers spend their New Year's Eve communicating with their livestock. That is the way I want to spend New Year's Eve, talking to animals, because <laughs> I love that. I love talking to animals. Um, I know that my mom used to believe in the whole eating black-eyed peas um, every year. By the way, I choked down. I can't stand black-eyed peas. They're disgusting. I choked down my fair share of them. My mom didn't really believe in it. I think it's just a tradition, but I thought it was real. And even choked down black-eyed peas and did never help. Um, I think my friend, my friend Priscilla said you eat grapes on New Year's. Um, that doesn't help either. Mm. Um, I don't really believe in luck. I believe in karma. I believe in, um, I believe in a lot of things. Luck. Mm, I believe you make your own karma. 
as in luck or whatever. The good that you bring in is whatever you put out. You you know what I mean? You put bad out, you're going to get bad back. And if you put good out, you don't always get good back because you don't always get bad back. You get the idea. Like In the end, hopefully the good comes back to you if you do that. Now, I would like to know what you think of my new intro because I don't know what it looks like watching it in a video yet. It's going to be at the beginning of this video. And we are going to leave with a Rose Nyland quote. It's like we say in St. Olaf, Christmas without fruitcake is like St. Sigmund's Day without a headless boy. <laughs> so there's your quote for today. I love y'all and I will be back tomorrow. And remember, I'm finding Neva. <laughs>